you guys have thrown together three convincing wins here. I'm just really proud of our group. Um, you know, I, I told you all, you know, when we talked early, I just didn't know, uh, you know, how we was going to respond from being off a whole week and, uh, you know, coming back out. And, you know, we had, you know, some okay practices and then, you know, we'd have a good day here or there. So uh, I was just really proud of our focus today and how we came out of the locker room. And, uh, you know, we didn't start out well. They made some shots early, uh, but we started to pick it up. And I could see the energy as they kept going. And, uh, you know, I was just super proud of, of them. You know, I made a change in the lineup, which was, uh, you know, as a coach, you just sometimes go with your gut. And Chanel Lockhart has been playing her tail off in practice. And uh, I'm a firm believer, and I talk to them all the time about uh, practice this hard, do the things I ask you, and you'll get that opportunity. And uh, I wanted to reward Chanel uh, for what what she'd been doing. And uh, you see what she did on the floor. I mean, she she was rebounding and 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 getting deflections and just everything. And uh, and I think that's a you know that's a testament to our team and how much we're growing. And that's why I'm excited about. I just told her to continue to keep keep doing what she's doing because she was a big reason that we got that big win tonight, uh, today because of everything that she brought to the table for us at practice. Um, that's the energy and the the focus and the excitement and stuff that we have to have every day for us to be good. Plus three games, you've had almost I think 30 point leads at halftime. In the second half, for you, when you come out, is there any sort of adjustments you have to make to make sure the girls stay intense the whole second half? I'm sure naturally it's easier to maybe take a couple of possessions up. Well, I feel like today we did a way better job than we had in the past two games. Uh, you know, the other two games, we, you know, South Alabama went on a 12-0 run, you know, and, and, you know, the past, the game before that, the team went on a run. So I really felt like that uh, we were really focused. That's what we talked about a lot in the locker room. The first two games, I was kind of, you know, just talking to them about the things we needed to kind of get better offensively. And, you know, of course, I always talk about defense, but today I really emphasized that in the locker room. Uh, and I just challenged them to make sure that we could step out of the at half and get back on the court and make sure we put three three good games together. And I was super proud of them. Oh, it was huge. It's any time that uh, you can find different people to score in different ways, uh, it's a challenge for the other team. And uh, I think that that's one thing right now uh, that, that we're playing pretty good. Uh, we're moving the ball well. We're getting up people to open shots. People are taking pretty much the, the open shots that, they're, that they take in practice. Uh, and that's important. And that's what we've been talking about a lot, time and score. Uh, but I want them to have fun. And uh, the past three games, uh, I hope people have, have seen that, you know, this team is growing and they're having fun and we're working hard. Yep. Yep. It, it's been very valuable to us because uh, that was one thing last year that we, we did a lot. We turned it over a lot. Uh, I think the next big thing, too, is making free throws. Um, you know, we've we struggled a little in the beginning of the season, but now I think we've gotten back to get focused on where we need to be and uh, what we need to do as far as making free throws. Um, again, it, it's just an awesome opportunity as a coach to, you know, kind of sit back and watch the team grow and watch them get better and better every day. Um, and now the challenge is just to continue to keep getting them focused and ready and taking one game at a time. I think it says a lot about the team. I think it shows the maturity and where we're growing. And I think it just shows that we're they're a close-knit group. They're a close team. And it's like I've said before, you know, when we talked about Alexis, Alexis is a big part of that too. Uh, if you all watch the game, she's more into it than, than me sometimes. And I know I can be very intense. But she's over there, you know, coaching and cheering them on. And, you know, and she's the same way in practice. She's the same way in practice. She's the same way in film sessions. And that's important. And I think that the team understands and knows that, you know, this has been a tough time for Alexis. It's been hard. When Alexis is one of the most competitive players that I've ever coached. And uh, this has really been tough for her. Um, so I just am proud of our team because I've seen us grow. I've seen the whole team grow. And I've seen not just one individual. It's every game. Like today, Chanel Lockhart. You know, Kendall Noble was one day getting 30. Bianca McGee had five threes. Left. When you can do those things as a team, then you continue to keep growing. And that's what I'm excited about. I think. 
think, you know, we just got to continue to keep correcting some things, but we just got to keep our energy and, and our flow of what we're doing. Oh, that's probably, yeah, that's probably uh, not good. Uh, I turn around and look sometimes because I think it's, it's somebody else that, that might be yelling. But uh, it's it's pretty awesome to see, and I always make sure that uh, I talk to her after the games and I talk to her before, and, uh, you know, it, because she's just a special young lady, and uh, not just her, but this whole group. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited, and, and this whole coaching staff, just every day we get up, we're, we're very fortunate, and, and we love what we do, and we're, we're excited to continue to just keep watching them grow.